WHDD presents Susan Says. Part two of Kent's Festival of Ideas. They open each day with what is called an aperitif, a short two-minute presentation by the day's speakers to intrigue and interest you. So often at these things, there are two programs running at the same time, which make it hard to decide. Fortunately, I only had that happen once on the first day. I chose Trump versus his own Justice Department over Daniel Mendelssohn's presentation, the discussion of the Odyssey, both Homer's and his own teaching of the course, where his 81-year-old father sat in and how that led to a cruise together. They dealt with so many issues of life and death and fathers and sons. I'm going to buy his book instead. And oh, by the way, the verdict on Trump and his Justice Department, not good. He's undercutting them as much as he can to prepare for Robert Mueller's report. Some friends went to a discussion of the work of the famous artist Diane Arbus. They enjoyed that while I was suffering on the future of the Republican Party. It was discussed as Steve Schmidt, the brilliant and now disaffected conservative, said, the party must be destroyed to be reborn. Sadly, there's no one disputing this, as the Republicans are all too afraid to do anything or be targeted by the Trumpers. Where are the Howard Bakers of the past? The panel on Iran said that whether we like it or not, they have kept their part of the bargain. We, of course, have broken it. It will be hard to make demands on them to fix or change it. They remain the pivotal power in the Middle East. Part of the fun is the reception, where you can grab one of the speakers and ask more or discuss your own theory, of which I have a few. I also enjoy asking questions in the sessions because it's the only chance one can get a real expert to answer some of the important topics of our time. Today, I hope to learn more positive things about the future of the Democratic Party. And then we will be entertained and hopefully made joyous by my favorite dance group, Palabolus. I think that's how you pronounce it. We close the whole conference tomorrow with the great Wynton Marsalis playing jazz. That'll end on a soulful but up moment. Sunday, I'm free to wander around Pauling. And there's so much lush greenery here. It's lovely and calming. Once my head is so filled with all the news, which is depressing, I can use that. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.